Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Caleb Kuda. Today I've brought you out to a very interesting place to tell you a very fascinating story about a Ghanaian contractor who is redefining excellence in the construction business. This is what people have been saying about him. Are you aware of me? I'm 56 years. Are you in Ghana? You will be sad. I am not know what you are doing. I don't 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 know what Cool. Cool. I feel you. When the woman said, "If I could do something," I'm like, "You go meet up." No. <laughs> when are you going, Trevor? <laughs> you know the, the the day she she made that yeah you know uh, comment I. I got my guy to record it. Yeah. And I sent it to my wife. Say, hey, is that what you're doing? There is competition. <laughs> <laughs> so now you started sucking me both breasts. <laughs> Messy. Messy. Yeah, suck it. <laughs> yeah, that was that was real fun. But I yeah. was I was really touched, and it it told me volumes about um, um, people's observations yeah. about what we are doing. Yeah. You know, I was I was surprised. She got out of a trotter, yeah. literally came straight directed to to me wow. and then said to me that look, I mean, I've been monitoring you for so long, yeah. you know. And I I your 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 work is pretty much like what they do in Anywhere in the world. and yeah. so on and so forth. And in fact, the road minister says that you are the you are one of the best contractors anywhere in the world, <laughs> not even Ghana, or anywhere <laughs> in the world. Yeah, uh, uh, yes, I agree. It, it mustn't have come easy. No, I, I put in a lot. I'm the first person to get to site yeah. and the last person to leave site. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's difficult. During the day, I get sleepy. You know, but this is what I've, I've decided to do. Amazing. I want to get to the top. Amazing. You know, so even in the midst of sleep, you know, I just um, keep on moving. Incredible. Yeah, it's and, uh, and you're really moving. Last time I came, you were around the um, Zoom Lion head office. This is the Boteman. This is the Manjo Boteman Road, right? Mm -hmm. You're dualizing it. Yeah. Sweet. It's a it's a, one of the most difficult jobs I've I've ever um, had, but uh, we're making a lot of progress within a very short time. We've done so well, yeah. and we'll complete once again ahead of schedule. That's what you do all the time. Yeah. I mean, for the school junction, Nanakrum Road, Major, you finish ahead of time. Otano Junction, you finish ahead of the of time. East Legon Expansion Boundary, Boundary Road, Road yeah. you finish ahead of time. Now you're handling this in addition to that drink gun or flyover, and you also finish ahead of the time. Yeah, um, that's about um, 5.8 kilometers right. uh, of road. If you multiply. Because it's dual dualization, dualization. Yeah. so you're looking at uh, perhaps uh, 12, yeah. let's say 12 kilometers, yeah. because we are going to do the adjoining roads as well. Right. So say 12 kilometers, and we can do this in less than a year. Amazing. I mean, I mean, if you look at the the number of equipment on the road alone, is yeah. is massive. Every machinery. Yes, and we have so many gangs on the road working simultaneously, uh, I mean, wow. and we have a plan every day. I come here with my team, we sit down, guys, this is what we're going to achieve today. And we, you know, we go ahead. You kill it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's difficult. No, you, know? you kill it. I kill it, yeah. No, what makes, I wanted to ask you what makes this particular project difficult, but I know it's, it, there's a lot of wind. I mean, sorry, did I say wind? I was thinking about the sun. I know there's a lot of water and the soil is clay, and I see what you're doing here. It's pretty much what you do everywhere. Yeah. But this side is tougher. Yeah, it's tough because um, we are re-engineering a new road, okay? Um, the reason for this project is that the 
uh, Ghana is hosting the All African Games next year. Right. And they're having a games village a few meters away from here. So this road will complement that. Fantastic. We're having the whole of Africa come to this country. It's not going to be easy. So this is a priority job. We need to complete this job far ahead of schedule. The game starts somewhere in May, somewhere middle of next year. Right. And, and, and this is a very long stretch that we have to complete before the games itself. And you can't fail? No, I can't fail a nation. This is not possible. And when the minister... Um, uh, my, my uncle cut the sword. Terminator. Yes. <laughs> when he cut the sword, he told me to ensure that I work day and night. Okay. And so we are doing exactly that. We don't have to fail the nation. He told me not to fail. You know. And so we are on it. It's, it's, it's impressive what you do all the time. Now I want us to roll back into time and tell me a little bit about who. Oswald Humphrey Williams <laughs> Sherman is, you know. Oh. I, I'm, I'm going to ask him to tell me his story, where he grew up, what he studied, and what makes him different, okay? But if you've not subscribed yet, please do that. We're going to get into that shortly. I grew up, I was born in Choco. I'm like, you know, 100% guy. I see. Yeah. Born and bred in Choco, grew up and all that. Typical gun boy, you know. Um, it's been a long journey. My story is, is, is has been difficult, but I say to people that if my story is possible, then there's God. It would not have been possible without God. I've worked very hard to get to where I am today because I believe that. Uh, hard work pays. I mean, even at this level where Oswald is, is doing so well, I'm still in the sun working. It hasn't been easy. Um, it's a long story. I mean, G give me a shot. I need, I need, oh, I need so time. Was like, where did you school? I need time. I need time to, you know, <laughs> I need fact, time to. You, 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 I need, you know what to answer that because your guy needs to work. Yeah. Your work needs to go on. <laughs> oh, God. You know, we have to go to another location. I see because, that. Uh, That's so, why. You know, I, uh, my background is in communications. I didn't do anything construction. Anything construction. So you're like thing. a journalist? Uh, public relations sort of. Wow. Yeah. And that's what I find myself with. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Okay, let's move so to the next I, I call myself a street engineer. A street engineer? Yeah, I learned it. On and, the job? Yes. Wow. And I train my team. I have a team of engineers that I lead. It's, it's an incredible story. Oh, from communications to engineering. Yeah. So I'm a street engineer. El Chairman, <laughs> the street engineer. I like that. I like that. Let, let's go to our next location. And then we'll continue the conversation. From, it's getting exciting. Let, let's move on. Let's move on. Oh, wow. Last time I came, I saw you somewhere in the trenches, and you were like, the soil was clay, yeah. so you're giving him a direction that he should fetch that site, yeah. so you heap that yeah. somewhere, and then you fill it with boulders. Yeah. Where did you learn how to construct like I, this? I learned it from the engineers from Urban Roads. Okay. Um, Ghanaian engineers? Me, yes, yes, I'll, I'll mention their names. Uh, um, three engineers, Kofi and T, oh. engineer Kofi and T, oh. Dr. Bequine, right, and then um, Richard Comiette. I learned this, you from know, from three these three people. Kenyan engineers. Yes. They what was the, what's the science behind this approach? Um, <clears throat> you know, when you are excavating in a very marshy area, you uh, you find water coming out of the ground. Okay, so once you find water coming out, you have to channel the water out of the road. Right. You know, how do you do it? You, you have to use permeable material. Okay. In this, in this case, uh, the boulders. Okay. okay, so uh, water cannot stay in the boulders. Right. You have to get the water out. It will seep out of the, you know, so you direct it and create an outlet for it to go. Wow. And so most of the roads you see 
that we did really everywhere everywhere you know you would find water sipping out i have a lot of videos on that that i can share with you you know so that's that's the the technology and i applied common sense to it so if you look at um, my company profile for instance there's a quote uh for me that says engineering is not only science but the application of common, common sense. sense. Wow. So engineering you, is not only science. But the application of common sense. sense. What um, I'm talking about is called uh, underground water. Okay. You know, so we have something we call uh, French drain. Okay. Okay. The French drain simply means that, um, well, somebody in France developed, you right. know, that. Right. But all you need to do is to get the water out of out. Once the water stays in the road, it will build up yeah. and the pavement will be the affected. The so you only need to find, uh, you know, an outlet for the water to seep out. That's Amazing. all you need to do. Amazing. There's another thing you do that people really love. There are a lot of contractors, if they are, if they are constructing a the road, they cut the pipelines, they, they dig gutters and they don't close it. People have to park their cars elsewhere. By the time you wake up, they've stolen your car battery and things. But when you are building roads, you build them in a way that people love you. Yeah, you know, when you are working in an urban, uh, urban environment, it's difficult. I mean, imagine your frontage being dark for a drainage construction and it's left for a week and your car is parked outside you'll be upset inconvenient okay in as much as you want the work to be done you will be upset i mean so um working in an urban environment there's a way to deal with the, the people you are working for i mean i mean some diplomacy you know even if you can't do it in a day try and explain to the person and i mean they'll find reason to give you the chance right. to do it we dig but we do it very quickly right you know right. we dig it doesn't take a week and you don't hear sand blocking no, the entire no, no, road no, no, for no, one no. week no, and you are not seen no <laughs> you know so you must have a plan right. and that is why we we decided to remain in accra right. because of the challenge of urban work it's difficult you know and one of the reasons why i decided not to leave accra and concentrate in accra is because i want to do better than the multinational companies right i want to challenge myself you know uh, uh, and get to that level where i can say that look um, within this period of time we'll be able to achieve so much Super. i mean my company is is, is comparable to construction pioneers yeah it's a, it's a blue chip company it is owned by Ghanaian yes from Choco uh, from Choco <laughs> you know I started by by renting shovels and wheelbarrows and so on and so forth you know now look at the equipment that is lined up sure. massive all right it's got amazing grace and determination you know guns are, are naturally timid people yeah. But I, I, I refuse that. Like they say, when they're on the ground, they get up. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't get up, they'll stay there. <laughs> and they'll be talking. Okay. <laughs> I'm a different guy because I, I live with Ashantis growing up, you know. Right. And so I have that Ashanti attitude. The Takashi song. Yeah. The Takashi song. Yeah. I, I, I didn't stay with, if you like, typical. Typical guy, no. Right. No. I moved out and. And the, the, the I, I manager will not be happy with you, but yeah, but that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. That's <laughs> what it is. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I learnt, I learnt the Ashanti's attitude. Right. I have to succeed. Right. You know. Right. I have to let people know I'm in town. Exactly. It has to show on me. You can say that. That I'm doing well. I don't behave like a. Wow. Hey, Oga. <laughs> oh, I think man has called you. Yeah, so he's going to he's going to answer that call. And when he's done, we'll continue this conversation. His name is Humphrey Williams. He's the chief executive of Oswald Investments Limited. It's a blue chip Ghanaian company that is doing amazing. He says his focus is to stay in a car and prove that, look, what the multinationals in terms of construction can do the Ghanaian can do better. I love this. It's sweet. 
Let's listen in some more. After he's done all this. Okay. You won a watch. Yeah. The president was here. People were carrying you shoulders high. Yeah. Terminator was speaking about you. Who's Terminator? That's the roots, man. <laughs> My uncle. Man. <laughs> I would tell this uh, you forget you know it, right? He, he says that you're one of the finest contractors, not in Ghana, but in the world. I agree. And many people agree too. Yeah, I agree. I mean, um, so many precedents to show. Yeah. It's all over. I can pinpoint wherever I go. Anakrom School Junction, Atano Junction, Anakrom. Uh, Boundary where, Road. Boundary Road. Um, aviation Road. Aviation Road. It's the all dualization. Tell it, it be, do, it be like big projects. Sorry. Sorry. No, no, fair. You know how I started? No. I started by renting shovel. For real? And wheelbarrows. Shovels and wheelbarrows? Yeah, I started. Were know. you fixing potholes or something? No. Okay. Um, if you are giving a small drainage works right. you contract, then you're going to rent the shovels, small, Ooh. small. You know, I used to work as a laborer as well. Wow. That's how I started. Laborer? Yeah. I was a laborer in my company. Hey. I worked with the laborers. Right. And so... Um, <laughs> little beginnings indeed, right? Yeah, when I say uh, don't despise I, little beginnings, yeah, that's actually... Yeah. Another challenge I find with many Ghanaian contractors, it appears access to capital is a huge challenge for many of them. You know, and so they may get awarded a contract, but they will not be able to deliver because government is expecting you to get letters of credit. They call it something. You finish before they pay you small, small. By the time your money comes, everything's fine. You see, but what? How did you crack that code to? It's it's another story. Mm -hmm. I um, uh, and the way is the way I built this company. It's a long story. If I have to explain all that, mm -hmm. maybe we can find time. And I'll, I'll just give me I'll, small just yeah. You just plan well. I mean, don't don't take jobs you cannot do. Okay. You know, I started by taking uh, small small jobs, right. renting wheelbarrows and showers and things. Like right. That. Okay, one at a time, right. not two at a time. Okay. One at a time, and then you can manage it. You can be here and not at four or five other places. Right. So that is what I do. I like to be on one and so that whatever resources i have i apply that resources you know onto that project so you kill it you get a good name for it then you move on then you move on and and the, story, the story will go on right now i i came through that during Ghana stretch there is a flyover going on you're the man on that beach. yeah and it's the first flyover to be built by a Ghanaian contractor. Yeah. What does this mean to you? What should it mean so to excited. the Ghanaian who is watching? I'm very excited it about be. it. I'm looking forward to it, to its completion. But but for some demolition works that has to be done. People have been approaching the buffer. Yeah, Charlie. and that's the the only thing that's holding back the project. Oh, that completed long ago. Sharp. Yeah, but government is dealing with that. Right. So we are waiting. Once they are done, you know, we'll, we'll finish it. Besides encroachment in buffers like these, what are the other challenges you often face that you still surmount? Oh, I mean, construction comes with so many challenges, a lot, but I cannot pinpoint one. Okay. It's, it's, it's basically how you deal with people, I mean, the neighborhood that you're working within, okay? It, it depends on how you relate to the people. And it's always been a challenge to, to many contractors you have to use a lot of diplomacy you need diplomacy because if you come and dig in front of my house and it's left for two weeks i will be upset Definitely. i'll deal with you Definitely. all right Definitely. so i have to come and talk to you politely yeah. give me two weeks i'll finish this job for you so that's you go with the gun side that yeah oh, no no <laughs> I'm, I'm in time you there's no there's no <laughs> diplomacy with the gun. okay okay <laughs> right uh you know right. diplomacy in public relations it works all the time okay uh-huh so that's it so i i come to you so boss you know i come to do this job for you yeah. within two weeks it will be done yeah. and you'll be happy so just give us some time and let's about two weeks let's dig 
and oh, once you are able to explain, yeah. fine. And you they'll come outside, then they'll come and be watching yeah. how you're doing it and all that. Two weeks, within two weeks, you are done. You have more calls. This must be the president of World Bank. Or <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, you get me. So, Amazing. so I want you to talk to. Um, young Ghanaian professionals. Many people, when I engage, they feel like they want to leave Ghana. They say, Ghana tough. Yeah. Work doesn't reward. <laughs> you work so hard, and you don't get the reward for your hard work. I want you to talk to those who feel they have to leave Ghana to make it. No, you don't have to. You don't have to. I, I've, I've not worked out, outside this country before. I've, I've never done so. I mean, um, tell you what you can you can do it um, it won't be easy yeah. it won't be easy but you have to I, I get a lot of young guys come to me you know the fact that they want to be like me yeah. you know they see me as their role models and all that. I have more than 500 people that's right and uh, my tutelage that's okay. right okay um, you have to teach them how to make it um, but some of them are impatient. You need patience to to be able to thrive. Mm -hmm. You get me to mm -hmm. succeed. You have to be patient mm -hmm. because it's God who will make the way for you. You can't make the way yourself. Right. So be patient and wait for God's time to come. Right. When it comes, He says in His own time, He makes all things beautiful. beautiful. He said that, right? He did. Yeah. So just wait. Elder man. God. Yeah. Elder man. <laughs> Boss, when I write about you, like the Nanakrom Bridge. It used to flood, people used to die. Government awarded the contract to you, obviously, supervised. You fix the drain, dualize that stretch. When I write about you, people go gaga. And they're like, come and see some, some contractor we have here. He's some young contractor. People want you to actually come and fix their roads for them. Talk to them. Like, they, 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 <laughs> they, they can't wait for you, but, you know, your brothers too must chop. So, come on to them for your brothers. <laughs> No, it's a serious man. You get I know, that, I you? know, I get it every yeah, day. Some dumb people, like when they get what you are doing here. Yeah. I mean, today a delegation came from, you know, no somewhere, spots. you know. Meanwhile, it's been a while they do, me boy. Yeah, but I mean, I, I can't do everything. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, uh, watch out, we'll be in your neighborhood soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is a good way to end it. I've appreciated talking to you, man. <laughs> El Chavano, thank you so much for talking to us. Yeah. So that's Humphrey Williams is the chief executive for uh, Oswald Investments Limited. Chairman. Chairman, yeah. The chairman of Oswald Investments Limited from Choco to the world. About what? About what? I enjoyed this. <laughs> if you did too, please subscribe, share this, let the world see. There's a lot of amazing things happening in Ghana and you can be the one changing the story as well, just as Humphrey has. I will be glad to tell your story. Catch you again.